Monday everybody and welcome back to a new weekly vlog. Do not ask why I'm starting the vlog at this time. It is currently ten past four and wow I have had one of them days today where I just haven't been able to function as a human. Like I don't know what's been wrong with me at all. Um, I woke up, I had a quick picture that I needed to shoot for a brand and I was supposed to have like a really productive Monday, um, like film for YouTube, do all sorts and I've just woke up from a nap, like I've just been so hungry all day, I literally can't stop eating for one and I've just been knackered, I feel like the weekend is just catching up on me and also the weather changes I feel like is really affecting me like one minute it's blue skies which it is right now which really motivates me I don't know if anyone else is the same but if it's like a little bit of nice weather I instantly feel like so motivated to do stuff um but it's also been like well torrential rain pretty much all day as well so that's great um also if my makeup's looking a little bit disheveled is that is probably because like I said I've just woke up from a nap um, and I'm literally straining so much because I just can't see. So here we are, new weekly vlog. We're back. Um, the reason I picked you up is because I was just about to start pottering and cleaning the house. And I thought, you know what, let's do a little clean with me because I love watching like clean with me videos. I was actually lay on the couch watching YouTube, watching Gemma Miles's vlog and she was cleaning. And I was like... Do you know what? That's motivated me. I'm going to go and clean. And the kitchen's a mess because we had Sunday dinner yesterday. Jordan made a amazing Sunday dinner. Um, so yeah, I'm going to clean. I'm going to pop you on a time lapse so you can watch me potter around. I'm not really doing a big clean. I'm literally doing the kitchen and the living room and that's probably about it. I've got like washing and put away as well. Um, I actually went for a run this morning. I, If you've been watching the vlogs for a while, you'll know that I started running just before Christmas I think it was yeah just before Christmas um got really into it really enjoyed it um and then like I stopped because it was Christmas and I just wanted to eat cheese and drink wine every day and it was literally about minus 100 outside so um but then I got some new trainers which you would have seen in last week's vlog and I was like okay this is my motivation to like go running again I've been working out like five to six times a week um but just not running so then this morning I went for a run and then did my workout like when I got home um I did 3.5k which I think for my first one back was pretty good and I feel like I could have kept going um so yeah I'm really happy with that and I'm really proud of myself I'm going to keep going um so I'll bring you along on the running journey with me because it felt so nice to be out there again I always listen to an audio book when I run and I just feel like I just really enjoy that time on my own especially first thing in the morning and considering I woke up today absolutely knackered like Jordan had to bring me a coffee in bed because I was like I physically can't move um to then drag myself for a run and do a 45 minute booty workout I'm pretty impressed with myself so yeah gonna crack on and clean haven't really got a lot on this week if I'm honest everyone it's a bit of a boring week the weather's forecasted to be awful all week so I'm thinking I might pop to the shops one day and have just like a day to myself that's about it to be honest, I haven't got anything else planned. So, as always, I'll just bring you along on the weekly vlog with me. Also, no shade on today's outfit, okay? I've literally got this ribbed vest on, which is really nice actually from PLT. It's really soft and comfortable. And then my oversized Topshop joggers that I've literally had for about three years now. Um, So they're not, on, they're not like online anymore. I will try and find some similar, but they're like a utility style jogger and they're so oversized like they're just the biggest jogger I own and they're so comfortable I love them so much so yeah let's get cleaning
there we have it nice clean kitchen i'm actually having a jelly right now and nice clean living room and i'll just need to go upstairs and put the laundry away wait for jordan to finish work which should be about mm, six ish it's quarter past five now and we're going to take a little man out for a walk hello okay excuse the way i look excuse my hair like i don't quite know what's going on um hello little boy i've just fake tanned well actually i didn't just fake tan i fake tanned like a good few hours ago um i've really been preferring like fake tanning through the day these days and then like leaving it all day and then washing it off before bed i just feel like it gives me more of a natural color because i can like control it through the day and if i feel like it's getting a bit dark i can wash it off like for example this is like the perfect color for me um but what i used is on my face i've got the where is it tan Lux the face which i use all the time um just mix it in to my moisturizer and then on my body, I used this one, which is the Bondi Sands Pure Tannin Foam. Self-tan foam and water with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in the shade Dark. So it was like a foam, and you literally just put it directly on your skin and then rubbed it in with a mitt. And honestly, really nice colour. Like, I'm really, really happy with how that's looking. There's clothes all on the floor, by the way, because I'm planning outfits. But yeah, I really, really like that, actually. I talk all the time about the fact that I'm not, like specific to one tan i try different ones all the time i love tanologist i love coco brown i love tan looks i love bondi sands like there's literally so many that i like it just depends on what mood i'm in but yeah really happy with this um i'm just about to take kobe out on a walk i went for a run this morning again and i actually finished an audiobook so i'm going to start a new one the one that i've just finished is called atomic habits by james clear and i really recommend it um me and jordan both listened to it and he loved it he finished it yesterday and i finished it today and we both absolutely loved it like really like relatable and like useful like i listened to it and then i'm like oh my god yeah like that makes sense um and also i listened to all my books on literally the audible or i always say it wrong audible audible i call it audible um on just their app and you literally just buy it through amazon i think i've got a subscription i don't know how much i pay a month but um you get like three credits a month i think and then i buy books with that um which is really good so i'm gonna buy a new book i don't know which one to start so i'm gonna have a little mooch get a new book because i really enjoyed atomic habits other ones which i've listened to and really liked are you're a badass by jen sinclero sincero bit of on the cringy side that one but still liked it manifest now was really good um get rich lucky bitch really good um i tried think like a monk and i got like three three quarters of the way through and then i just stopped because i was just a bit bored um but yeah i'm gonna have a little look download a new book take corby ah, off there please i don't want you walking on there with your dirty paws um take corby for a nice long walk and listen to a new book and then i'm gonna come back and make a tuna pasta bake which i'm very excited for so i'll show you me making that because i make like my own little homemade sauce and it is delish just to show you the color of this tan in the mirror you can see a little bit better there it's just a really nice um natural color i've literally got these joggers on again because again i've not read anything today and just felt like rubbish this little crop top is from opoly quite a while ago um but yeah i'm really happy with this and i am ready to go for my walk with a very excited little puppy should we go for walkies he's very excited so... <laughs> okay 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 i'll see you when i get back okay we are back from our walk and i've just popped on some pajamas i actually forgot i owned these and they're a bit fake tan stained um but we're going to look past that. So these are from ASOS and I got them quite a while ago. If they're still online, I will link them down below. But they're just really cute. They've got like a nice little lace detail. They're really like airy and like a really like silky satiny material. Um, really cute, really cute colour. Um, honestly loving this tan. 10 out of 10 from me. I obviously haven't washed it off yet. 
but um in terms of like wearing it throughout the day like i'm not sticky or anything so it's a yes from me i don't know what is going on with like these bits of hair like i'm just confused massively but um yeah gonna go make some tuna pasta now because i'm starving okay so for this pasta i use some whole wheat pasta i've got some sweet corn chunky chopped tomatoes two tins of tuna spinach then i use this aldi like philadelphia garlic and herb so i use that and chopped tomatoes as the sauce then i've got some parmesan then i also got this parmesan from aldi which honestly i got sucked in by the middle aisle and then the main thing is this pasta seasoning i got this in aldi and i actually went back and bought like two more because i don't want it to run out it is so nice it's literally just got garlic sea salt chili basil and parsley but it's just so good so then i'll just like sprinkle that in salt and pepper a few chili flakes and yeah really easy throw together tea big fat bowl of pasta exactly what i needed really easy loads of stuff thrown in and delish give me love give me all your love oh cause i want you Makes me feel this way Don't know what you do Hold my hand Could you hold my hand Look me in the eyes You and me Yeah, that's all I need And I'll be alright I'll be right here I swear that I'll stay here with you morning guys i've still got my pjs on so don't mind me these are actually from sisters and seekers and they're so comfortable like it's like a wide leg trouser and then like just a long sleeve like kind of like waffle material and honestly so comfortable so i'll link these down below why am i out of breath i'm running up the stairs jesus christ um i've just got ready for the day which you would have seen um, I was meant to be shooting with Alex this morning, but I think we're going to do later this afternoon. I've got a mountain of clothes that I need to sort out down there to shoot today. Um, but yeah, just got a couple of little bits to do this morning. I might go into town as well if I'm ready in time, but we'll see. I've just had a delivery from John Lewis. We did a little order um, a few nights ago of just some little bits that we needed around the house. So let me show you what we've got. Okay, first thing I picked up was this pretty basic spotlight... Um, light shade i don't know what this is called you can see clearly what it is um for the dressing room because in my dressing room i have one of i've got any down here kind of similar to this but it comes down like on a string oh my god honestly i don't even know what i'm saying um anyway it just looks not the prettiest in the back of foes and i don't want like a big aggressive lampshade i just want something that looks quite like studio-y um obviously i shoot in there so this i just thought would be quite a nice little light to have in there it was really cheap i think it was only like 45 quid um let me open up these i don't need your help thank you uh -uh. Bobby likes to help when we've got packages oh my god stop it look at him he's a crazy boy Oi. okay this is exciting everybody so in here we have got a new wash basket 
Honestly, you know you're an adult when you get excited about a new wash basket. So I'll show you our current one. It's a disgrace. I think like I think we've had it since before we lived in our flat. Like I think it might have been Jordan's from like home or something. I don't know. It's not the prettiest. Um and it's all broke and Kobe can jump in it really easily and he like runs around the house with like socks in his mouth. So I ordered this one from John Lewis, which is honestly gorgeous. It's gonna look so nice in the bathroom. So it's like bamboo wood, um, like a light white wood. Oh, I love that. Look at the lid on. Really cute. Love that. It's got like the lining inside of it. That's gonna look really nice in our bathroom, which is just like really minimal and like white, really. You're not allowed to eat that, thank you, or lick it, okay? Um, yeah, let me go and open the other box. I think I know what's in here. Oh yeah. Right, this is gonna be difficult to get out, I think. Oh my god, it's huge! So this is a big lantern. Let me take all the packaging off and I will show you. Okay, so this is a big lantern. Honestly, it's really big. It goes up to my... You can see, it's up to there. Really big. Um, I got this for the living room because we're going to take the living room ones and put them in the garden, like when the weather's nice. Um, and even this for the whole world would look quite nice. I just thought it was good and it was really reasonably priced. I think it was like £60, which usually lanterns like this are really expensive. Um, but yeah, cute. What a successful little order. Okay, so that was the old, horrible, ugly wash basket. <laughs> that just isn't the vibe. And here is the new one. It goes so much better with our bathroom, like the bath tray and like the decor in here. And it fits perfectly in that little space. I'm very, very happy and satisfied and I think this is truly a sign that I am becoming an old woman. And then these are the lanterns that we currently have in the living room. There's like a smaller size that's just over there in the corner. Um, but these are the two of them there and they come as a set of three. But I want to have them outside in the summer, like next to our furniture with like fake candles in. So let me move in this big daddy and we'll see how that looks cute i like that there very nice and then i'm thinking to get like three fake candles from there because i don't want real ones because i don't want it to come through on the carpet but if i get like some different height candles that like switch on i think that'll be really cozy very happy with that everybody and then this light i'm going to get jordan to put up probably tomorrow or friday brilliant Update on the Bondi Sands tan, by the way. Really like the colour of it. My hands look a little bit orange, but my hands always go orange. But um, the actual colour of the tan is really nice. I obviously got it on like my chest. Just like a nice natural colour, like washed off really well. Um, and I feel really like hydrated. I always moisturise after I tan anyway. But I feel like tan does often like dry my skin out. That one has hyaluronic acid and I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. But my skin doesn't feel dry at all. Um... But yeah, I'm going to go and get ready for the day. I need to shoot a couple of pictures in the house before I go and meet Alex. And then depending on the time, it's only 10 o'clock now. Um, I might pop to like Primark and stuff because I do want to have a little shop. Um, I don't know, I might do that tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, so I've got everything done that I need to do. I shot my um, pick that I had to do this morning. It is currently 20 to 11 and I think I'm going to pop into town and go and have a little mooch in Primark. I need some new underwear, girls. Like, listen, when I went to Primark last with Alex, they just didn't have any nice ones. Like, you know the classic Primark thong that we all love and respect. They didn't have any of them. Um, so I'm gonna go and have a little look again. I could do with some more of like the comfy bras that I literally live in. Um, I need some like socks. I just need some essentials. I might have a little look in Zara if there isn't a queue because you best believe I'm not queuing. And I think I'll get a Starbucks en route because why not? Um, don't think me and Alex are going to shoot until like 4 o'clock, like go on like an evening shoot. So I've got all day and my deliveries came, so I'm going to go. Anyway, I've got this tracksuit on, which is actually shorts and like a jogger, not a jogger, shorts and a jumper 
from the brand Awfully Pretty. Um, they sent me some bits and really nice, just really good quality. Um, like thick but really like cute as well. So yeah, I love this. The sleeves on this are a bit of me and the high neck I really like. Just like a jogger short which I love at like this time of year when you don't want to wear a full jogger but you also still want to be comfy. And then just these little like welly boots which I honestly love like... I just feel like they're a really flattering boot on your legs. I think they make your legs look really just skinnier than they are, if I'm honest. Um, and these are from PLT, actually. Are they from PLT? Yes, they're from PLT. Um, so, yeah, then just my Givenchy bag. I'm going to throw on probably, like, an oversized trench. And I'm good to go. So, I will bring you along with me. I'm not very good at vlogging in public because I get stressed out, but I will try my very best although like now that I'm so used to vlogging in the house I don't know how I'm going to be vlogging out and about because it's been such a long time but I'll give it a go if people stare at me I'll probably get freaked out but it's okay we'll do what we gotta do hi I'm Sarah what can I get for you today hi could I get an iced chai tea latte please iced chai tea latte yes please with oat milk as well thank you with what milk with oat milk oat milk yeah, yeah. Yeah, anything else? That's it, thank you. That's 425 and next one though for me. Brill, thanks very much. Thank you. successful shop if you ask me I'm actually sweating from walking back to the car what is wrong with me I've got some Zara purchases some Primark purchases I'll give you a little mini haul when I get back um, it is currently 10 to 1 I'm gonna go see if I can meet Jordan for some lunch and um, because he has an hour spare at work so I'm just trying to find us a booking somewhere so annoying that like everywhere is fully booked like at every hour of every day um, but hopefully I can go and meet him for lunch because that will be a lovely end to my solo shopping trip I actually really enjoy shopping alone like I find it very therapeutic I just like look around take my time it's just nice you know yummy Okay, so we are back from town. I ended up going to meet Jordan and we had a lovely lunch. I had a chicken, avocado um, salad and a lime and soda. It was just lovely. I um, thought I'd give you a little haul of what I picked up in town. Okay, hi guys. Apologies. Have I got sweet corn in my teeth? One minute. I've just had corn on the cob and you know when you feel like it's all in your teeth but it's just so delicious that I just have to eat it. Um, it's actually now 8 o'clock at night. So I started filming earlier, then my camera died. Then I went out to shoot with Alex and now here I am, ready to give you a little mini haul. So, let me show you what I picked up. First up, I got this top from Zara, which is literally just a basic ribbed little racer vest top. Um, I just thought the neckline was really nice. It's more exaggerated than any of my other racer tops. Um, and also, all my other racer tops I've had for quite a while, so they're quite like, washed out and not as like crisp white. Um, I got this in a size small, and it was only £9.99. It's just like a really good basic. I literally live in tops like these. They're just a cinch. Then I got these. Also, what do we all think of the new Zara bags? Blue, pink. They're really spicing up their lives, aren't they? Um, I got these mom jeans, which are the same as my denim ones, which I got in my last Zara haul. And I was saying that I've never found a jean that fits me so well. Like, it's tight on your bum and waist, but a really nice fit on your legs. So I picked them up in, like, a washed acid grey. I did want the black, but they didn't have my size. I get these in a size... I took the label off already. They're on here. I get these in a size UK 10 and the 27 99 which I think is really good for a jean. Like, compared to Levi's, and I love Levi jeans. But, to be honest, I get more wear out of my Zara ones because I just prefer the fit. They're just, like... A classic jean and I thought this colour was something a bit different which I haven't got in my wardrobe they've also got like the little logo thing on the back so really like them and then next up is this little dress which I just thought was so cute like I seen it and I thought oh, tan big blow dry my actual vision was 
with a tan big blow dry even like the below the knee boots that i wore today for a more casual look big denim jacket over my shoulders and it's just a cute little mini dress like literally just a little floral mini dress and i've just thought it was so cute me and alex are going for brunch bottomless brunch god help our souls i will be vlogging it so you'll have some entertainment coming your way um and i thought this would be really cute with like an oversized denim jacket so yeah just thought that was lovely and i'm usually not like a floral girl but i just thought you know what i want to be cute so i'm gonna wear that also this top is from plt um a little bit see-through so let me just cover my boobs but really nice like sculpted fit reminds me of the skims ones i'll link it down below okay so moving on to primani the absolute god where you can get every single essential of life first thing i got was just a classic white bra literally just a basic because i realized that in terms of actual bras i only have a black one like because i rarely wear a bra or i wear like the comfortable ones which i've actually got in there as well so i'll show you like i rarely wear a proper bra um so i thought let me get a white one i had to get it in a size 32d even though i'm usually a 32e so that's probably not the best shout but i held the cup up and it kind of looks like it would fit so hopefully it does Maybe I'll just push them up a bit more. Who cares? Um, then I got the absolute holy grail classic bras. If you don't know, you need to get to know ASAP. It's the Everyday Comfort 3 pack of wireless bras. I got them in an extra small, which is a 6 to 8. And they're literally just really stretchy, comfy bras. I have, honestly, so many of these because I sleep in them. I wear them basically every single day when I need a bra. I wear them like, just with joggers underneath things. And I actually didn't have any of the white or grey, I only have the black. So I thought, let me just get some new ones, because mine are a bit... I mean, they are only... How much was this? £10. So the ones I've had, I've had for quite a while. They're starting to get a bit, like, bubbled, and the quality's gone. They are only £10. Um, so yeah, just stocked up on some new ones of them. I then got some new knickers. So we've got a three-pack thong. I really like these, the fit's nice, I get a size small, which is actually a 10 to, 10 to 12, but there's nothing worse than when a thong is digging in, in the wrong places and you can see it, like, you want them to just, you know, sit nicely. So this is a black, white and red, which I thought was cute. Then got the exact same style, but in just black and white. Again, I've got a size small, they were 2 50 and these ones were £4. And then I also got two packs of sport f footies. I always called them footies, but they're called footies. Literally just little pop socks, but these ones are like really soft and like kind of like padded. Um, so I got some black and white because me and Jordan live in these and I'm always losing them. And then the final thing I got is a bow hairband because I've got one in here. Is it in here? Hello. Oh, there is. I've got this white one but it gets so much makeup around it like you can see it's so grubby um so i'm gonna keep that one for makeup and then keep this cute one for like when i just want to be cute when i'm washing my face so it'll probably get covered in makeup as well but yeah just wanted a new one thought this was cute and that was my little zara and i was gonna say plt my little zara and primark haul not that exciting but some essentials and honestly I actually really enjoy like being out and about and shopping and having a mooch around, going and meeting Jordan for lunch. It really felt like a bit of normal life and it, it was quite strange because I haven't had that in a while. Um, but it did feel very normal and I enjoyed it. Got myself a little Starbucks. It was just a fun time, you know. Also, we've been discussing tonight a holiday. I'm just a bit confused about anyone else, but like I don't actually know what we're allowed to do. Like I don't really know the rules at this point. Like, can we go away? Do we have to have a vaccine? I don't know. So Jordan's downstairs doing some research. And if we can go away after the 17th of May, which when you're watching this will be tomorrow, then you best believe your girl's getting on the next flight to somewhere hot with Bloody Marys and sangria. Mm -mm, mm -mm -mm.
this day i've just made myself a little coffee and some chopped up apple i always chop up apple because it makes it last longer like that's the truth um and i just like eating it like that um it's thursday at day i've just been editing the vlog this morning and doing some admin bits actually had a delivery come another one from john lewis which i actually forgot that i'd ordered um more stuff and it's this little cute candle cover thing it has a technical term but i literally for the love of god cannot remember it um so yeah just a cute little addition to there i originally wanted it in the kitchen but i think it looks better on here with the john malone candle and diffuser um but yeah I'm actually going to end this vlog here because when I was editing it, it's already like 30 minutes long. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, everything will be linked down below in the description. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it because it means the world to me. Head over to my Instagram and follow me there. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye.